Hi friends, so in the today's session, we will see that how we can reformat our existing code using simple VM editor. That is quite simple, but quite versatile, you know. So for, you know, this, you know, experiment of all uh, teaching this, I have made a two file. One is the C source code and another is Python. So I hope that you people are aware that C is, uh, C's block is defined. Uh, using curly braces whereas uh, in python the blocks are based on indentation so yeah actually i just you know print uh, these files on the terminal so here you are able to see that i hasn't followed the rule that should be followed for the python code if you try to run it like uh, this you are able to see here an error that uh, it is an uh, indented block which means uh, the code is not format properly uh, and exactly uh, same for C file the code is not formatted here but it is you know uh, separated in the block by the curly braces so it doesn't have any problem like uh, if you try to run this code then the thing is okay and you can run it based on whatever the data and you know rules is uh, so why actually uh, the Python code is not working because it is not properly in uh, uh, indented. So how you can you know uh, indent properly an existing code. So for that in VM editor you have to you know uh, enter in the command mode uh, visual line mode as you are able to see here uh, it's now in the visual line mode you can press escape button to go back in the command mode i to enter in the insert mode so once again how you can uh, enter in the virtual line mode for that you have to press escape button and then shift and then v now your prompt is in uh, you know virtual line mode then select the section of the code that you want to format so as you are able to see that i have select whole set of the code from start to end from line 1 to line 8 then press equal to button in your keyboard and I hope that you are here. Yeah, you are able to see that the code has been formatted in an appropriate way. So now save it and try to run it once again. And yeah, it is working. So how all this magic is happen, you know? So for that, you can open your Vim RC file. Here is a lot of things that you can. So the magic is happening because of this three line of code in which I has uh, you know configure soft tab stop is four then shift width is four and tab stop is eight so it is the grid means if you press the tab then how much uh, space it should be considered that's for the shift width means if you hit tab then how much uh, width is uh, it should shift or if there is some sort of already existing code and you press the delete button then how much uh, data it has to shift so that is 4 means like you press uh, tab two time and then uh, try to delete from front of the line then how it should be deleted and then the tire stop so it is a all about you know are for the plugin and uh, a lot of other things that i has you know uh, told you already and according to this auto indentation is also working so whatever you have set here, based on that, auto indentation is, you know, working. So now, save it. And uh, yeah, one one thing, uh, if you want to read, you know, about any any of the uh, keyword like uh, color, schema, and you are able to see the documentation of it. Exactly. Okay. Uh, for uh, for if you want to see the help page, for let us see. Uh, tab stop and you are able to see that how it is being created number of spaces that are tab tab means tab button and the file is counted for you can also see the retab which is something else been covered in the you know upcoming videos so uh, yeah any value then it actually uh, you can uh, read it here you can find the information about tab stop then soft tab stop and shift tab stop so whatever I have done is the default one. I haven't changed anything. It's all the thing is uh, only four. So I hope that you understand that how exactly this you know reformatting work is happens 
in VIM editor and how you can customize it. If it is helpful for you, then please thumbs up for the video. And thanks for watching it. Have a nice time. Thank you.